Welcome back to Lone Wolf Classic. And as you can hear, I'm draining the coolant out of my daily driver 1975 XJ6. I have a slight coolant leak, which I've had ever since I swapped out the engine over a year ago, but it, it made so small that I don't really lose anything, but we're gonna do something about it. It's the hose in between the thermostat housing and the water pumps. It's a pain to, to change, but I have a new one. The reason we're doing it now is because when I did some things earlier to this car, I noticed that I had slight chafing because one of the hoses, the bottom hose, was a little bit in the wrong position and it started to rub through that hose. It hasn't gone through it. It's about a third of the way through, but I don't want that to get any worse. So I'm going to swap out one of the lower radiator hoses and we'll swap out that. The rest of the hoses are just three years old, so nothing point swapping those out. But we'll do that, hopefully fix all of the little leaks and we are one step closer to all the small little things being fixed on this car. Busy draining there. We're gonna have to drain the whole system because there, the bottom hose we gotta get off and there is that little annoying hose we gotta get off, which means getting the thermostat housing off. Once again, I forgot to order a gasket. I really thought I did. Last time I made one, I made a thick one. So hopefully that one's still good. Otherwise we can make a new one. So getting this one off is a little bit of a pain with that bolt back there, but we'll get that off. The hose is off here, top hose, and try and get to that little annoying hose down there. Got all drained out now and one bathroom trip later. So this is the hose and I reused my old one when I replaced the this engine because uh, I reused the water pump in the old engine and I think I must have nicked it up or something when I put it in because it doesn't matter how I tighten it up, it always weeps a little bit. It doesn't leak when the engine is hot, it doesn't leak when it's cold, it leaks during the warm up and cool down periods. Uh, so it leaves a drop or so on the ground, uh, but never enough so I really have to refill it with coolant. That's why I let it go for so long. But let me see where my screwdriver went. I'm also charging up the battery while I'm in here because uh, it's starting to be on the last leg, that battery. I mean, it still starts up the car, but it, um, this screwdriver is too big, but it definitely, I need a new battery. All right, this one's better. But yeah, this is one of those jobs where I can't really film in detail until we're in there, but uh, it's pretty straightforward. These thermostat housings are, uh, they're good to periodically remove in my opinion, because there's a couple of the bolts that like to stick. And when they do, that just really sucks. So um, whenever you replace your hoses, if you're keeping these cars for a long time, maybe every day, eight or 10 years, you're replacing your coolant hoses, take this off and also replace your thermostat, because that way you'll take all of this apart. Let me get some pliers, get these hoses off. I'm gonna get the air cleaner off and then I'll bring you guys in for a closer look. Show you sort of what the hose looks like and we can probably see from where it's been leaking. Should be pretty much loose now. Just have the, there we go. That hose, I'm gonna try and catch the thermostat here so we don't drop that. And that is only like less than a year old, so there's nothing wrong with it. Works very well. Here we have it. And that's the offending hose right there. And you see, I have just tried to tighten it even more uh, to try and get it not to leak, but that hasn't worked. So I'm gonna thoroughly clean this area here and that area there. So it goes back on, hopefully doesn't leak. But while this is off, I have excellent access to the lower 
radiator hose, the one from the water pump to the crossover pipes. Let me show you that one. And uh, that's being replaced as well. With that removed, you see quite good access to that hose. And what happened was down there is a tensioner and part of that was rubbing against that hose. So I did move that and it has cut into it. Luckily I caught that. I think that was when I was uh, uh, swapping out the ovens for the regular coolant. I saw that. So I'm going to get that hose off and I'll show you that. And then just, you know, putting it back together, cleaning all of this up. Make sure I have the best sort of mating surface I can to get everything to seal as best I can. And I do think that the gasket, I think it's okay. And yeah, it is one of my homemade gaskets, but I think I can pick it off carefully and we can dry that, put some new hylomer on that, reuse that and it should be just fine. Got the new lower radiator hose back on. That went really well. And I've cleaned this area up here ready for the little hose that goes between here and the thermostat housing. But I thought I'd show you guys why I was changing this one. It's not really that big of a deal. Um, it wasn't leaking or anything. But here is, you see that little mark in there? It's hardly anything. Uh, that one's off the car, but I don't want to take any chances. So might as well replace it. It was because the um, idler pulley for the power steering was just adjusted badly. And now it has adjusted correctly. And there's a lot of clearance between here, but it wasn't before. So no issues other than that. But uh, I cut this. There's no point in saving it. And I'm going to throw it away. So we'll put that in the trash. I still need to clean up this area here. Clean up the gasket surfaces. And... We'll mount this together. Nothing really special about it. Just getting a new hose onto there. Cleaning up that surface, getting all back together, and let's see if it's tight. These are the last two hose clamps up here. Everything else should be in place now. It's just time to refill the coolant system, open up the door, fire it up, bleed it, and check for leaks. Could also, you know, pressure bleed it and uh, do it that way. But this car, like I said, the leak I had before, it doesn't show up when cold or when warm. It's the in-between period, so I need to let it warm up. But I think it should definitely be fine now that new hose is on there. Well, the area is very clean around there. I don't think there should be any reason that it should leak. Should be tight enough and get a funnel and we can pour the coolant back in. We're almost full now. Of course, you always get a lot more in the system once it's run through once. Got all the air bubbles out. Usually get a couple more liters in after that. We're uh, pretty much filled up now. I'm going to go get the keys, fire it up wait for the system and see how it works it's filled up as much as i can i put the cap on we're just gonna fire it up for five ten seconds and then open up and fill it a little bit more before we let it warm up because you can get quite a bit more in after the water pump is just circulate on for a little bit There we go. Now we'll open this up 
we should see that we can probably fill it with quite a bit more coolant already. This is one of those things that doing one hand is terrible. As you can see, pretty much empty there. So fill that up. I'm going to double check for any leaks. Then I'll back it out a little bit more. We'll let it warm up and check for leaks again. Temperature is starting to go up. I have it like this uphill as well. It helps with the bleeding. It's starting to come up there. Not seeing any leaks so far. Seeing bubbles and things come out here. So that's pretty good. Everything looks really nice and dry everywhere. Parked it over a dry piece of concrete so I can easily see if there are any drops or anything. Everything's really dry now underneath, so at least there's nothing at the moment. But I think it's gone really well. Once it's cooled down, I can just tighten all the hose clamps just a little bit and we should be good to go and also fill it a little bit more coolant. But I did fill the expansion, so if that's working as it should, it should actually pour pull coolant into the system as it is cooling down and hopefully I don't have to fill up that much. But we just have two jobs left on this car, but I can drive it as this now. I mean, I've been driving it, even though with this slight little leak, it's been fine. But I have one lower ball joint on this side I wanna replace, we're gonna do both sides and a slight little exhaust thing. It has an exhaust leak when cold and then it goes away, but we wanna fix that because it's very annoying. But this thing can go back into daily driver use for now. And then in a weekend or two, we'll tackle the other two issues and that will be a video here on the channel. Anyways, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. It really does help out a lot. Till next time, I'm Adam. This was Lumitha Classic. I'll see you soon.